Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of rawradianthealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So it's Wednesday and today, today I decided I want to talk a little bit about our, our mental attitude towards ourselves and and maybe the conditions you're trying to reverse or the health you're trying to improve or the weight you're trying to lose or the skin that you're trying to clear up. Now you guys know that as, as for a living I, I coach people with their health and their, their nutrition and their wellness and, and pretty much their lifestyle and I, I'd say a lot of my clients, majority of them, are dealing with some sort of health condition they're trying to reverse and for many of them it's a lot of times it can happen really quickly they just change a few things in their diet and boom it's like they're on the road to recovery and then there's some that change a few things in their diet we do a little tweaking in their lifestyle but still it's like things get better and then suddenly it plateaus and most people experience this where if they're trying to lose a certain amount of weight that in the beginning the weight really starts to come off and then over time, over a few months, they're getting such great results and then boom, it just stops and they hit a plateau. And they're like, you know, what do I do? And people go through this with their weight, they go through it also, you know, trying to clear up their skin as, you know, they get onto raw foods, they start noticing that even just within a few weeks, their skin looks better and it, it's getting better and better and better and then suddenly it might just stop and they're like, you know, I get letters all the time and people being like, I've been on raw foods for a year and my skin got better, but it's still not 100%. And they see the improvement, but they're like, why does it get stuck? And I think what I know why it gets stuck. A lot of times, yeah, there's certain things we can work on to tweak within someone's diet, but a lot of it also has to do with what's going on in your head. And it's, it's, what's going on in your daily life and how how you're how you're looking at, at yourself how what your relationship is with yourself and how you're dealing with these problems because unfortunately a lot of times it's like no matter what you're doing you can be doing everything right with your diet with your lifestyle like you're going to sleep at the right time you're eating the right foods you're you know not stressed but Let's say, for example, you're trying to clear up your acne. You might every single day, three times, four times a day, be running to that mirror and looking in that same spot on your face to see if it's changed. And every day you're like, it's not changing. It's getting worse or it's staying the same or why is it red and why is it breaking out? And you just look closer and closer to that area. And at the same time, you're pretty much telling yourself that you're ugly and, and you're unattractive and you can't go out and you can't look at people and people can't look at you because you are just so terrible. And picture this, that you don't, a lot of times we don't realize that we might be reinforcing these negative thoughts like all day, every day. And this can go on for not just a few weeks, it can go on for years and decades where every time someone looks in the mirror, all they see is their shortcomings and they just reinforce to themselves what they think is terrible. And over time, you know, that weakens the immune system, it weakens your body, it weakens your spirit, it weakens your energy. And therefore, you're not going to heal. In, in fact, you're going to stay in the same exact space because it's you're you're not you're not moving forward you're not getting that that life force through you to to take you to that next level and to get rid of these these chronic conditions and so that's what I just want to remind you about today because you know take yourself out of the position if you're dealing with this where you're trying to lose those last few pounds or you're trying to clear up your skin or you're trying to get rid of, of like arthritis or allergies or or any kind of chronic condition and you're doing everything humanly possible to change it I want you to take a step out of step outside of yourself and look at yourself and how your relationship to that problem and your own relationship to yourself and how you treat yourself because of this problem are you putting yourself down every day are you always just concentrating on your shortcomings are you con like obsessed with these problems and 
you know, really look at it because a lot of times I have to remind myself, like, like, would I treat a small child the way I treat myself? Would I talk to another human being the way I talk to myself? And probably not, you know? It, it's like, I've caught myself many, many times for years saying really, you know, just having bad mental talk with myself and constantly putting myself down. And I could just imagine, like, if a parent had treated a child that way, like day in and day out, just like being like, you're terrible and you're ugly and you're this and you're that and saying that to someone day in and day out, it's going to make them this big. You know, they're not going to be healthy. They're not going to be vibrant. They're not going to be radiant, you know? So stop and look at how you treat yourself and see if you can make some changes because it's just not worth it. And if you really, if you want to take yourself to the next level and you want to be happy and you want to be healthy and you want to live the best life possible, you've got to start treating yourself well. You really do. Okay, so that's what I'm going to end with today. And if anyone does need any coaching and any help with anything, drop me an email or go to my website www.rawradianthealth.com and I coach people with their diets and their lifestyle and to really get you to that next level and you know just like let's create the best life possible okay so have a fabulous fabulous day everyone and I will see you tomorrow bye